Right. How can we not blame the media for the incredible job they did in making sure we now have President Barack Hussein Obama in the White House for four more years? Conservative Joe Scarborough of MSNBC and his show Morning Joe thinks Republicans should stop blaming the media and making up conspiracy theories for their loss on election night. But honestly, honestly, I think the media is almost criminally, criminally liable for their absolute and complete manipulation of the American people in this election. If you only watch the main three networks of ABC, NBC, and CBS, the reporting there is so biased that you aren't even, you're not getting the complete story of the news. My wife and I, we watch the NBC News with Brian Williams every evening and what we notice more and more is that the puff pieces they put on there are just filler and they don't really fill us, they don't really give us the news. They put this nonsense up in place of very serious stories that would almost certainly shape one's opinion about who a good candidate is for president. Not only do we see bias in stories they report on a somewhat limited basis, but it is what they don't report on that is most disturbing. A really good example of the way they bias their stories is how NBC reported on Mitt Romney's trip to Europe during the Olympics. Almost every night during the time Romney was on that trip in Europe or the Middle East, we got to hear a report of the dumb things Romney said while in Britain, Israel, and Poland. We would hear Andrea Mitchell or Brian Williams repeat a supposed gaffe, and then they would show it in the context of, a, of an interview that Williams did with Romney, and it, honestly, you couldn't even find where the gaffe was. We also had Romney videos being purposely manipulated by Andrea Mitchell, one where she made him look as stupid as if he had never been in a Wawa grocery store ordering a sandwich that's still up on many websites today. Another one by MSNBC was where they made it look as though a crowd was more interested in seeing Paul Ryan than they were in seeing Romney. Of course, the absolute biggest scandal and media manipulation I think I've ever seen in my entire life is over the Benghazi-Libya debacle, and the, the, which the president may very well be impeached for. The media's negligence, absolute negligence, on reporting the death of four Americans by Al-Qaeda-linked terrorists approaches criminal wrongdoing. There have been emails come out from the government showing that the White House, Pentagon, and State Department knew this was a terrorist attack and the group involved in it was a terrorist organization two hours after it was over and the mainstream media never reported on those emails. President Obama lied, lied, lied through his teeth for two weeks refusing to call this terrorism and the media completely ignored these emails. They weren't, these weren't some ridiculous emails from a right-wing website or whatever. These were direct emails that went to the White House and the media would not report on them. And then of course we had the Candy Crowley correction of Romney at the second debate where Crowley herself turned out to be wrong. The president never admitted these were terrorist attacks until two weeks after the fact. 60 Minutes had a video of it that they refused to show until three days before the election, yet he got away with the lie in debate number two that he did say it was terrorism in the Rose Garden speech after the day of the attacks when he, in fact, did not say that. And that's only the tip of the iceberg, folks. There are so many more examples of media bias it would make your head spin. I've linked to a website in the video description below that covers a whole lot of this media bias. It's right here at newsbusters.org. There's all kinds of stuff on media bias there. But the bottom line is this. What do you mean we shouldn't blame the media for Romney's loss? I'm, I'm, that's ridiculous. They worked overtime doing everything they could to destroy Romney and make him look bad. Does anyone, does anyone think for a minute that those media hookers for Obama would have not been destroying Romney and everything sacred, every chance they got, that this election would have not turned out different? Do you think if the American people would have known how poorly Obama reacted to what happened in Libya or what's really going on in the economy or what's really in the Obamacare bill or who were the people that mentored Obama from nearly day one of his education? You don't think that that would have affected how the American people voted? 
How can anyone say that the media did not give a huge advantage to Obama? How they can say that is simply absurd and intellectually dishonest. The liberal media has finally come of age with this latest election and they, without a doubt, you know what, they own your brain if you have rented it out to them and you only watch ABC, NBC, and CBS. Really? You don't believe in the liberal media bias? Well, just wait to see what happens to the economy and wait to see where this Benghazi Libya thing goes in the next year or so and then come back here and leave your comments then. The truth eventually has a way of coming out even if it's ugly. And guess what? I hope you're still here when the truth gets really ugly on what this president has been doing. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. If you can be civil, I would like to hear from you.